My name's Laura and I'm an optometry student in my second year. Um, if I was going to give some advice to my 10 year old self, I'd say um, don't worry about being the odd one out. Um, for me, a lot of the time I was the only one who looked like me, sounded like me, had the family experience that I had um, and sometimes it can feel really isolating. But when you get older, you realise that you're not the odd one out and there's so many more people who are just like you. Um, and even if you do continue being the odd one out, there's so many people who love people who are unique and will love you for your experiences and being different. Um, so don't worry about being different. Um, enjoy being who you are and um, don't be afraid to kind of be you um, because when you get older, it, it You'll, you'll find so many people who love you for that anyway. Um, the other advice I'd give is just enjoy your friends and family and um, being young and um, have lots of fun. Don't get too wrapped up in the future and thinking what your future is going to be. Um, don't think just because you want to do a certain profession, that's it. Um, be open to new ideas and new concepts and new, new things for you um, because life is like long and you'll find out that things change and um and it's great i'm diola and i'm a final year dental student at the university of manchester so the advice i would give my 10 year old self is to own yourself 100 percent don't be afraid of your own intelligence it's something to be extremely proud of embrace your sass embrace your wit speak up and allow yourself to put your hand up to be heard and to be listened to and to be seen so completely own yourself is what i definitely say hi my name is agnes and i'm a fourth year physics student at the university of manchester so my advice to my younger self would be regarding the topic of resilience so resilience is the capacity to be able to sort of pick yourself up and bounce back from any difficulties or setbacks. And the reason why I think I'd advise my younger self to do this is because I've always been a planner. I've always sort of had a plan for my life, but obviously as life is, things don't according, go according to plan. And I've had to overcome a lot of difficulties. And I think building up resilience has helped me so much because, you know, it wasn't an option for me to just sort of accept the difficulty and sit back. I had to persevere and I had to pick myself back up and I had to find a way to either get through it or find an alternative route to achieve my goal. And I think that, you know, it's really important that we understand this because life isn't always going to go to plan, but I think as long as you're resilient, things always work out for the best. If I was advising my 10 year old self, I'd tell her to take every opportunity she is given. Say yes and work out the details later because people don't ask twice. Here's some advice I'd give to my 10 year old self. It's to be confident, you're braver than you think. Talk with a smile. Stay creative and imaginative and don't be afraid to suggest ideas. Always ask questions, that's how you'll continue to learn and how people know you're interested. And don't worry if you don't know now what you want to do when you're older, that gives you options.